Hey everyone, thanks for coming back to my channel. My name is Robin, and I'm going to be making some facial soap bars today. As always, we're going to be starting with our colorant. Today I've got 24 karat gold as my gold color. Next I'm going to be mixing up a green shade, and this is actually a mixture of French green clay and Envy from Mad Micas. I've also got a navy, which is uh, blue vibrance from Nurture Soap and activated charcoal. And then finally, my red, which is Trial by Fire and Rose Kaolin Clay. As with all of our other soap batches, we're going to start with all of our oils melted and brought up to the temperature of 90 degrees Fahrenheit. Our lye solution is also at 90 degrees Fahrenheit before we combine these two. We're going to slowly combine these and bring them just to emulsion. Now you may be asking yourselves why this is any different from any other soap bar. And I'll tell you, I like to load my facial soap bars with clay, but also with oils that are going to be really nice and moisturizing. So I use grapeseed oil, castor oil, and shea butter in my facial soap bars, as well as a reduced amount of coconut oil to reduce the stripping and cleansing properties. Now that we're emulsified, we're going to be splitting it into four equal parts, and we'll be adding one of our colorants to each of these parts. The colors I'm using today are based on the fragrance that I chose. I'm going to be using Oak Moss and Amber from Midwest Fragrance Company, and if you haven't smelled it, it is really great. It's very natural smelling, not very cologne-y at all. It's not super musky and masculine, and it's also not very fruity or floral like a feminine fragrance. And we're essentially going to be pouring these into two different layers. The first one is going to contain our navy and green soaps. So I'm going to weigh out the fragrance for those two here, and I'm stirring it in. Now this is the first time I used this fragrance, so I wasn't sure how it was going to react with the soap batter. It did say in the notes that it might accelerate slightly, but I didn't find that at all. You can see that it's still really, really fluid. And we're going to pour in only about 95% of, of all of our soaps, actually. We're going to be keeping 5% of each of these colors for the top decoration, so set those aside if you want to do it just like I did. And the rest of the navy goes in as we're preparing for our drop swirl. Next we take our green color and we're going to drop swirl it into that navy. It's really nice and easy and a good rule of thumb with a drop swirl is that the closer you are to the top of the soap, the closer the drop is going to be to the surface of the soap. Now I let this harden just a tiny bit, really it's still quite fluid in there, and I'm using a spatula to try not to let it break through all the way. My intentions were to let it break through a little bit more than I did. It does look pretty separate in the final bar. Um, but if you choose to do something like this, you can make that, that choice yourself. Now this is my gold, my 24 karat gold, and I'm pouring in 95% of it. And now the red, which contains our rose kale and clay, and I'm drop swirling that in as well. And now when I get to the top, I'm going to just be doing these linear pours on top. It's not going to be going into the bar. This is just all of the remnants, those last 5% of all of the different colors, and I'm going to alternate and pour all of them onto the top. Now, I don't know about you guys, but when I was looking at this, I thought to myself, I should just leave it. There's no reason for me to texture this. But of course, in my hubris, I decided, why not give it a texture? And bam, it failed. It was too firm. It didn't work well. Uh, and the reason why the top portion is a little bit less firm is because I didn't add fragrance to those additional 5%. So I will take back what I said. It does accelerate slightly. <laughs> 24 hours later, we are ready to slice this up and I'm super excited to see the inside. Check out the final design and let me know what you think in the comments below. With the two clays that we added to the bar, those clays are really great at whisking away dirt and excess oil from the skin, and that's why I like adding them to my facial soaps. If you're interested in making this recipe, I'm going to make it available on my website, so just check out the description box below, and you'll find a link to the facial soap recipe that you can pick up and make for yourself. Thanks so much for joining me today. I hope that this was enjoyable. If it was, please do like and subscribe so that you can be here anytime I put up new content. And until then, be well.